a lot of the times when we're doing this business, we are accustomed to doing only direct selling businesses, okay? So what's a direct selling business? Many people, when you're doing direct selling, every time a product is sold, you are making a percentage off the product. So you don't really care if they're returning, okay? So for example, if you're a car salesman, okay? You are selling a car to that individual and getting a commission, okay? You don't really think about the next time they buy a car, right? Because it's gonna be years before they buy another car. Yes or no? Right, so you're more concerned about that initial sale, right? And about how much you can make off of that direct sale, right, then. And that's what a lot of individuals do in Atomy, and that is a mistake. That is not the system that Atomy was intended or created for. So a lot of individuals that I visit, different countries that I visit, where their direct selling um, history is uh, very long, they try to do Atomy with direct selling. But it is not direct selling, okay? Because you cannot offer absolute quality an absolute price to individuals if it is a direct selling model because you have to provide a big incentive for the initial sale to be done then, right? But that's not the case here. Why? If we are selling an absolute quality product at an absolute what? Price down, quality, quality up, then it has to make, we have to make sure that there is no what? Margin, right? There, there, there cannot be a big percentage in terms of what we make off of the initial sale. Then if there is a markup, then what happens? It is no longer a absolute priced item because there is that initial maybe 20%, 30% that we have to tag onto the product to sell it. If we do this, then what will happen is you will not be able to retain your consumers because you will only have a competitive price. Okay? If you have a competitive price, that means that it's good, but not good enough to retain your customers. That means that that person will come buy your product, and then next time they'll go buy the other product. So this is what I mean. If our skincare, okay, let's say a lot of people in Korea, they use skincare that's about 300,000 won, okay? So about $300 for six set, okay? And if I go to this person and say, listen, I have a product for you, and it's about 28, so 280, okay? Then there's only a difference of $20, okay? So if there's only a difference of 20,000 won, which is about $20, then this person, next time when they go to buy, they might as well just buy the 300 won for convenience then, right? There's no difference. There's no big difference. But Atomies, okay? Atomies, the new Fame product just came out, right? The Fame. So now our six set has turned into the Fame. And that one is about 88. Okay, so look at the difference in price. You're saving about $210 then. So $210 is a large difference. So this means that this consumer can no longer run away because their competition will only be able to offer them a product if it's of this quality at about $250, right? At about $280. So what happens then? This consumer has now experienced what we call absolute price, absolute quality, so therefore they will continue to buy the product from you. So therefore, if you have returning customers and it's automatic, then we call that passive income, okay? So a lot of individuals build their network like this. Active, passive, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Active income, a lot of people say, is 100% dependent on who? On you. Okay? Everything business-wise, everything when we are building starts with you. Okay? So it is your responsibility to register in this, in this group and to share information with the other individuals around you. Right? So think about it this way. If you own a restaurant, if you are the owner of that restaurant, it is very likely that you were the one looking for where to start the business, right? So you went shopping for the location. And after you found the location, you went shopping for the, the what? The chairs, the tables. Who's, whose responsibility is all that? It is 100% you. You're, you're the one actively, actively building, right? And then what happens? It goes from one, and then you hire some employees and some managers, and then now you're actively maybe at three. 
So meaning, if it goes from 1 is 100, 2 is 75, 3 is 50, then if you're at 3, you're only 50% active in that restaurant because you have managers helping you facilitate and run the restaurant. You see what I mean? Yes? But your, your growth will never get to 5. You will never be at 0. It's impossible for the owner to be at 0 because there will always be issues within the restaurant or whatever company where you have to go sign off on things, hire new people, make new contracts. So you never really get to the perfect five, the zero, okay? But I'm telling you in Atomy that that is possible. Do you want to hear how?